bitches. Broadcast with Amanda, Shandy, and Colleen. My name is Colleen. My name is Amanda. And I'm Shandy. Welcome to the show, everybody. This is season seven, episode four, episode number 274. It's kind of like our 4th of July episode or something like that, I guess. I don't know. That was a dumb joke. Might cut it. (laughs) 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 Uh, (laughs) Speaking of cutting things, our blooper episode is due within the next couple of weeks. Hooray! I will have to get on that when I'm not busy reading books where the crawdad sings. Ooh, 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. And seeing the movie. So, but anyway, how is it going? We were off last week. We were all doing our thing. Living life. Living life. How's it going? It's good. (laughs) Excellent. Excellent. Eventful. Yeah? What'd you do? Uh, we took Baby on her first trip. That's right! We had our first uh, airfare adventure. We all survived. How'd it go? Other all the way surviving. there was se- just seamless and easy and wonderful. It was great. <laughs> the trip was great. We got to see family. It was lovely. Eden got to hang out with her cousins. It was super fun. And then all hell... Broke loose on the way back. Oh, no. Oh, no. Every type of delay, we, we hit them all. Oh, no. Delayed takeoff, delayed, like, in the plane, mm. delayed in the air. We were circling for a oh, while. Oh, that's so delayed frustrating. Delayed on the tarmac, getting to the gate. Traffic from the airport to the home. Just every Ugh. place. We ran out of snacks. Oh no. oh no! I was expecting us to be home for a late lunch, and we didn't get home till dinner, so we ran oh, out of snacks. Oh no! But you were on a plane, you do? so you couldn't. Did you? Were you flying Delta by any chance? You were like, "Can we I please flying. have some of those delicious biscuits, please, for my?" We ch- did have some of those. We did have some of those. <laughs> <laughs> a biscoff for the baby. Yep. She slept a little bit. She That's played good. a little uh, peekaboo. She ate all sorts of Cheerios off the floor. Oh, lovely. Getting that immune system. Right. Yeah. Yeah. At a certain point, it's like, I, we've been in the air for double the time we were supposed to be. I'm not going to fight you anymore. You want to eat the floor Cheerios? <laughs> How about it? Hey, floor Cheerios were Zachary's favorite, so I hear you. Are, are you really doing Cheerios if you're not eating them on the floor, off the floor? Exactly. exactly. Right. Yeah. You know what? We survived. It could be dirt. Yeah. Exactly. 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 It, 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 when she ate all the Cheerios, she was trying for some of the lint bits. And I was like, well, okay. <laughs> you don't know what that is. You can't put that in your mouth. <laughs> just, she was going for textures. I, you're speaking of, I have a really quick confession to make. So we went out to this Mexican restaurant with, mm-hmm. um, you know, some friends and Jay's parents in San Diego on Saturday. And Alex, so they what they did was they fried the cheese around the chicken. And it was supposed to be a mm-hmm. quesadilla, but it was really just a taco with cheese fried around so it's actually actually really good but yeah, alex delicious. picks up the taco and the chicken because it's like a lump of whatever falls to the ground and i grab it real quick thinking three second roll but like you know you know jay's mom sees it she's like i don't think you can do that and i was like oh i picked it up so quick it kind of landed on my second. foot it kind of landed on my foot because it did land on my foot at first and then it bounced off my foot but i caught it really fast so anyway like, I, he had the two tacos, and here's the one taco, here's the second taco. I put it, I swapped them so it's the further away taco. And before I know it, Alex decides to pick up that taco, thinking that it's the closer one that fell on the floor, because that's the one he had picked up. So then I just kind of let him eat it without anybody knowing, and then... <laughs> I was like, do you want the other taco? When he was done, he goes, no, thank you. That one fell on the floor. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> no, can't hurt you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, maybe this is not a popular opinion, but I mean, I'm like all team science all the way, but I do think that we're a little bit too, like, sometimes, you know. I kind of agree. I grew up eating things off the floor. I do agree. <laughs> I agree. We're a little and 
just too cautious with things falling on the floor. It's, you know, it's fine. Yeah. Things fall on the floor. I just rinse it and keep going. Yeah, exactly. but not lint. Lint is, what we're talking about. lint is a different piece. Lint is, lint is not edible. <laughs> <laughs> it has to yes. have begun as food. Yeah. If it started as food, hit the floor, brush it off, it's fine. Then but you if it, it never yes. food, it, it, if it was just like a creature of the floor. You just can't finish yeah. that food journey. No. Yeah. It wasn't food to begin with. It's not Dang. on the journey. It's on a different journey. Yeah. It's not a food yeah. journey. To it's the trash or the vacuum. Yeah. <laughs> it's on a journey. A uh, story. <laughs> um, we are joined real quick. We are joined live by the Hangout Level patrons tonight. I've got, I see Ro in the chat. I see Greg in the chat. Hello, friends. Hi. Thank you for joining Thank us. Thank you for being here. If you would like I to become a patron and join us once a month, once a month for the live shows, uh, patreon.com slash Jay and Jack. Woo! Um, anyway, yes, so all the delays. Uh, you all know, delays. you and I had layovers at very similar times, um, but I was at Dallas and you were in Atlanta? Well, Atlanta was where we were coming from, so we had no layovers. Oh! It was so supposed just, to be just a oh. quick, simple, like, here to there sort of experience. Oh, yeah. And it, yeah. There were people on our flight, so I think our flight, mm. a vast majority of people on it were was doing a layover yeah. in LaGuardia to get on a plane to Chicago. Oh, so, okay. like, they were all just, like, all sorts of screwed. It was one of uh, the person sitting next to us happened to be one of those people. And he's like, I don't know know what I'm going to do. Because at first we were like, oh, we'll let you, you know, we'll do what we can to like let you off quickly. You know, it's like, we've got the baby, but like we, we checked everything. So it's like, we're pretty nimble. We can, we'll let you out first. And at one point, I think the uh, pilot was just like, all of you that have your connector to Chicago, like essentially it was like, that ship has sailed. (laughs) (laughs) Like, don't stress about it. Like, you've missed that flight. Like, you'll have to check in with our desk when you land, and they will put you on another flight. Like, that is that moment is over. Oh my god! I hope they compensated them well. Yeah, Um, the line, like the um, customer service line, was so long. We walked by it on our way to baggage claim, and it was just like. 40 people deep and I was just like oh those poor people I have been there oh did you see there was an article that the Washington Post did some research into all the flight delays that have happened over the last few months and the airlines like to blame air traffic control or you know other random things but it was actually just the airlines that were the primary (laughs) cause of surprise surprise the uh, cancellations which I am sure has something to do with um, you know like covid and all that since you know we have had outbreaks since mass mandates have dropped but yeah very, also weird yeah oh so weird yeah. huh. it's um, like those two things are connected somehow yeah but I, I was reading about that this weekend that you know they like to blame everybody else but it really like the majority of the times uh-huh. it was just straight up the airlines doing it um mm, sounds like uh, so many other people we know yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. like you could apply this theory. Of, it, it has the projection. It's always yeah. projection. <laughs> yep. Yes. I'm sorry you had such a hectic flight home, but I'm, I'm glad you had a fun trip. Yeah. It, it, all things considered, it really truly could have been worse. And all things considered, baby girl did very well. Oh, she good. really only lost her shit like a handful of times. And it was totally <laughs> understandable. Like she fell asleep and like she's just a little too big for my lap. I was, you know, unprepared. And she would like wake up and get annoyed. And like who doesn't get annoyed when they get uh, unceremoniously woken up from a nap? Yeah. So, um, you know, yeah. they were all justified outbursts. And it was easy to like calm her down get her back uh, to neutral. So, you know what? It could have been worse. Oh, good. I, I have learned a lot, and I know what to do better for next time. So, yeah. And it worse. always gets better. And, you know, you're only, like, two years away from, like, you know, putting on some Cocoa Melon on a tablet and being like, have fun, learn the ABCs with colorful letters. <laughs> yeah, we did, we did a little PBS video app. Uh, yeah. I tried to do one of those like in-flight entertainment kid things, and I was like, I cannot do this. So we watched Planet Earth, mm. 
Mm. Oh. Which I figure, like, that's got to be better for a de- young developing mind to, like, look at something real yes. and nature than, like, this, like, stupid dog cartoon that's, like, flying and there's random crap. I'm like, this can't be better. This can't be better. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, yeah. Well, it does, it does only get better, especially when they can be more entertained. Um, Shandy, any moving updates? Yes. Um, so on Thursday, which is yesterday, if you're listening to this as it posts, uh, I will be driving up to Raleigh to sign some papers uh, for a house. And then meeting me for lunch because you're going to be, she's going to be two lunch. miles from my office. <laughs> yes. And then meeting me for lunch. So excited. Oh, that's so exciting. But I'm also so excited. Left out. I know. I thought about that. I was like, I need a minute too. <laughs> I'm so excited lunch. for you guys, but also very sad for me. Oh my god, lunch Shandy. Time, lunch time freeze time? Yes. Yeah. And you know what? There was a first watch over there. We'll go to first watch so you have not missing out. <laughs> oh, you guys gotta get that um that coffee Bacon. milk hot Yeah, thing. oh yeah, like totally. That. that was so good. A hundred percent. Um so very excited for that. It's so we're signing on Thursdays, getting recorded on Friday, whatever the fuck that means. The register of deeds is gonna like, record it. So when when your deed is, right. it's just, just gonna say like it was officially you yeah. Right. Cause like I planned for Friday, like this whole time. It's like we're closing on Friday, so I like you know, yeah. the time of hers for Friday. But now it's really, you know what? And I thought it was going to be in where I'm at, but mm-hmm. it's not. And that's fine. At first I was like kind of annoyed, like, why are they using lawyers? who? Because we're using the lawyers that were recommended to us. And it's like, why, but why are they in Raleigh? And then I was like, you know what? It's fine. I can take the entire day off of work because I have like a certain number of work days that I can use for like moving related stuff. Yeah. That's not mm-hmm. my like personal PTO. So it's like, okay, if I have to travel, that's fine. Cause I have the time and then I can see Colleen. It'll be Yay. great. Yeah. Um, I had, you know, wanted the movers to come on Friday so that I could like fucking move in. But of course they, <laughs> they were like, they were like, Oh, the, you know, the next time we have us basically next week. Oh, so and, uh, annoying. Again, <laughs> with that, at first, I was really fucking annoyed. And then I was just like, oh, well, yeah, it's all going to work. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. And I talked to, I talked to work and I like submitted a request to have one last week of hotel uh, and they accepted it. Oh, good. Like, you know, I, when I was telling you about the utilities and stuff, I should have said, like, you know, it's a, everybody is moving right now and buying houses, so you probably should book your movers, and I did not even think to do that. Well, no, but I, see, the thing is, like, because I thought of that, like, once we had our closing date, I didn't call them the very next day because, first of all, it took me a while to even find their fucking number. Just because, <laughs> like, I had these emails from the people where they didn't, there was no phone number in their signature block, which I'm like, oh, I that is that. so annoying. That That's is such annoying. A pet peeve of mine. Right? If you're, if also it's people don't sign their email, email with, they leave off their signature. Like also a pet peeve of mine. But what right? Like how am I? Yeah, that. I don't want to follow up and ask you for your shit. Just put it there yeah, so I can just hit like time. you know call on my phone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. I mean, for your work email. So anyway, so it took me a while. And then I was like, I didn't know exactly what, like what, because so I thought, I thought papers were getting signed on Friday, which they're not, but that I still don't exactly know when I'm getting the keys. Cause so then it was like, nah. So anyway, by the time I figured that all out, a couple of days had gone by, but I don't know if it would have changed anything or not. Mm. Neither here nor there. It doesn't matter because again, I still don't know precisely when I'm getting the keys, but it doesn't like, there's no stress. Because they're not coming, the movers aren't coming till the next Friday. Yeah, but that means that we really have like, you know, everything's everything's set up in line. I know exactly when when and, I move, and, and I get to take the whole day off again when they come to move in. So. Yeah, there you go. And, well, and, and if you if you have that time in between, like, are you going to want to like paint or like do any of that kind of stuff? That's hard to do. To do. <laughs> oh, that's nice. You could get your utilities nothing- set up, though. You could get you utilities can- are already like, oh good, good to go. Uh, internet. I do still need to get internet because they don't. The internet provider that we had in California does not service apparently. Like right. where I am right now. So maybe they do uh, in other places in North Carolina. I don't know. 
So I, we just need to figure out what, what service provider we're using. But so for next week, no worries. I will have internet because I'll still be at the hotel. Yeah. Jay can give you some recommendations on good internet because he did the Google Fiber for a while. Right. So he right. learned so about he the other service providers in the state. Ah. <laughs> well, I think we'll probably use Spectrum. That seems to be like... A we use AT&T and know. we like them. They're I would not fucking use AT&T. Oh, yeah, that's right. You hate AT&T. That's right. I knew that. I knew that. Spectrum is fine. I used Spectrum before I moved here. This was... AT&T was... Uh, fiber was here, so that's why we, we switched to AT&T. Yeah. But I used Spectrum before then. We had and Spectrum in New York, and I don't really like it, but everything in New York sucks. Really? Yeah. So, everything uh, in New York sucks. Yeah. I, uh, just too much concrete. I'm sure it is great when you... Oh, uh, Okay. Get away from all that nonsense. Huh. Okay. If you can have a fiber setup, like, though, I super recommend the fiber setup. It is really nice to have, like, the, the faster internet. Uh, okay. I'll look into it. That's, the, that's, like, the one outstanding thing that I need to figure out. But, like, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll have, like, a week to, like, stop by my house whenever I want to. And like, you can move little things in, like, too. Yeah. Like, move the plants. Like, yeah. move things that, like, you don't necessarily, like, delicate things. That take you maybe Gabby. Uh, to, uh, yeah, uh, take that avocado, that growing yes. avocado. Yes. You know, it is doing great in here. It is take some like, measurements for, like, wall art and where things are going to go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, like, it'll be fine. We have an end in sight and, like, everything sort of, knock on wood, you know, is, like, falling into place. We're cleared to close also. Yeah. Great. So, great. Yeah. And don't forget, you yeah, have to do so. the, I think it's another money order for the the check that you get on that for day. The, uh, for the cash to close? Yeah. I love these. I love these terms. I love, <laughs> like, you know. Swinging around like uh, like I know what I'm talking about, but uh, okay, no, that's good to know. So I'll have to do that maybe. Because we had to. Oh no, we had to wire the money. Then we had to wire the money, and that was that hold up with that dude that we were waiting for the extra ten thousand because he owed it to the people that he owed the money to in the house. You have to wire the money. Yeah. How does one wire money? You go into your bank and you just give. You fill out a piece of paper and then they take care of it. But it has to be done like the day before. I think it is, if I remember correctly. The day before would be tomorrow. So. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. So the may I don't know. I will. They'll give you the instructions. They'll give you all the That's information. That's true. Your realtor should be able, or your lawyer or whoever the heck is walking you through the process should be able to provide you with what yeah. you need and when you need it. Yeah. So or don't walk in there ill-equipped. Yes. Yeah. We kind of got they like will. a little They need it to go smoothly, us. too, so yeah. that they can, like, you know, get paid. It's everyone's best interest. It's to yeah. everyone's best interest that it goes smoothly. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Um, and if you close on Friday, again, that's JMI and dating anniversary. It's a very lucky day. And mm. um, anyway, I feel like it's going to be like a big day of good luck things on Friday. I like it. I like <laughs> it. Um, yeah. Yay. Yay, 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 yay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, checking in with the chat real well, that's quick. That's cool. Um, Rose says, uh, "Love your resilience, Amanda. Impressive." Uh, Matt you. asked if the uh, Amanda life size cutout would be ready. Oh, we better get on that. We, we so, should have ordered that last week. We should yeah. have ordered that last week. There's more important. There has been so many more important things to do. We will get on it. Don't there worry. Was this, Don't worry, Matt. We'll get it done. There was this amazing "Am I the asshole?" But it wasn't. I mean, clearly they weren't the asshole, so I, I didn't pull it. But like. Uh, essentially, she was like, am I the asshole for scaring the shit out of my sister or roommate with a cardboard cutout of the rock? And, like, apparently, like, the the woman was super pissed at her. But then somebody in the comments asked, like, can we see what the cutout was? And it's the rock in, like, you know, like, sexy outfit. So oh, everybody so was... like that, like, meme with, like, the fanny pack? No, he had like um like a thong and, and uh, you know the, the the leather whatever. I'll send you a picture too. But when I oh saw it, I was like, oh, definitely not the asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone in the comments was like, yeah, no, we'd be okay with getting scared by that because <laughs> then we would still have that. <laughs> I'll have to find it while we're talking. Um, Greg says, congrats on the house. Um, uh, Rose says, mazel tov, Shandy. And then uh, Matt says, drink a purple haze for me when we go to, <laughs> what's it called? Uh, the, the, the not first waffle watch. house. Thank you. First watch. Oh, um, <laughs> anyway, uh, good times. Um, 
I went to San Diego last week. It was I was there yeah. for ten days, so I was a, a lot. <laughs> Only the, the main thing that happened to me, though, well, let's just say this: it started with uh, American <laughs> Airlines telling me that I had to change my flight if I wanted to fly with my luggage, and it ended with us coming home to a dead bat downstairs. So a dead bat. A dead Oh my god! I, I did bet. Yeah, I'll I'll start with the end of this story. I know, right? Well, we had a live bet in the we had a live bet somewhere <gasps> once. Where was it? We might have had a live bet in the garage at one point, and you know whatever. So anyway, uh, we get home like eight thirty last night, eight twenty. We eat dinner real quick, and um, I'm starting to like unpack and clean up things and all of a sudden I hear it's like Jay goes downstairs at like 845 and he's like holy fuck and I was like oh no is something on fire did somebody break in downstairs and we're just going down like what's going on and I'm like what he's like um there's a bat down here and I think it's dead <laughs> he's like what <laughs> At that point, like, I literally drop everything that I'm doing, like, mid-whatever, and I'm like, excuse me, what? I'm sorry, what? So, yeah, it was this little baby bat, like, the size of my fist. It was very small, and it was just laying on the carpet, and I brought down, like, two cups for him to, like, scoop it up. He said it was, like, you know, in rigor mortis, so it was clearly dead for a while, and Aww. we don't know how it got in, where it got in, when it got in, but clearly, you know, it had but starved it died to death. From. It, it had starved for to death, probably. Because oh we also God. did a, a <laughs> we did like this like like quick look around because I was like, wow, I wonder what its like flight pattern in this house was like. Where was it living? What happened? So we looked for like bat poop. We couldn't find bat poop, so we just assume it somehow got yeah. in, starved, and maybe didn't oh. poop. I don't know. We had a co- dead constipated bat. So. Um, <laughs> this is pretty sad, this poor bat. I know, I was really sad too. And when he like handed me the cup, he's like, Can you throw this out? And I was like, Can we give it like a burial in the woods? He's like, Do you want to walk all words? the way Yeah, I was like, Do you? He's like, You want to walk all the way out to the woods? And I was like, That's a great point. No, so I put it in the trash. But I did feel really bad about that. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was really, it was, it was an interesting way to, to come home. Oh, I also ripped my contact, ripped while in my eye, and I'm Ooh. pretty sure a piece ah. of it is still up in my eye. Um, ah. Yeah, so that's wonderful, and I didn't have an extra one with me, and I had to, I went, we, we drove around to like the Target and Walmart Vision Centers in San Diego, and nobody, it was Sunday, nobody would give me a contact. I was like, I will pay you, like, I don't know, like $50 for just one sample one that you usually give away for free. And they were like, we, I was like, I have the box, I've got the, because I had, I had the box. And uh, they were like, no, I'm sorry, without a prescription or doctor approval, we cannot dispense oh, anything. And no, I was like, are you fucking nonsense. kidding me? You give people these, like, I have tried on pairs of contacts and been like, no, thank you. And you have thrown them out immediately. So I know you're not taking, like, inventory of these things. So, yeah, fuck you, American healthcare. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> I just wanted one. And I was going to pay some. I was willing to give somebody, like, go to the ATM and, like, slip someone a 50. But it really would have been a 60 <laughs> because the ATM only disperses in 20s. And just for that, and nobody would do it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. Anyway, oh, um, I called my eye doctor today, and um, they have an office that's actually right in front of Wegmans. Is why I was at Wegmans today. Uh, so I went and picked up. A, they gave me a whole box. They were like, "Here's six and I was like, "Cool." I only have one left on the right, so I'm very uneven now. On. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "How do you feel about another box of six? Because I have to order more." <laughs> And I have to go, I can't go through insurance because I don't want to pay for an eye exam and then pay for the contact stuff because, you know, they won't fill a prescription if it's, if you haven't been seen within the last 12 months. So I've got to go through like one of your contacts, blah, 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 blah. That, that makes, that makes Frank rage every time that in the US, you know, it has to be yearly. Right? My, I, my prescription <laughs> hasn't changed. When my prescription yeah, changed, yeah, I right. went to... I went to an ophthalmologist and an optometrist because I needed to figure out what was going on. So, like, when I had a problem, I went to the doctor. I shouldn't be penalized with having to do it every year just because I'm friggin' blind. Anyway, Greg says, uh, stuff like this is why I will never try contacts. Mm, 
They are also the, because you have to fucking put it in your yeah. Pie. It's not that bad. <laughs> um, it's like not my thing. Uh, I had. I, the have, rip- I have contacts. Like I, I got them for for long distance running. Yeah. Because I was like, yeah, like a few marathons ago, I was like, if I want to, I mean, my vision is like twenty thirty. It's not bad. But so before I would just run long distances without, yeah. you know, anything. Yeah, yeah. And then I was like, yeah, like it'd be kind of nice, especially on like a beautiful marathon. It'd be kind of nice to like, you know, have that 2020 vision. But um, I think my box has lasted me like five years. Nice. Yeah, because, well, because, and maybe that maybe it's expired by now. Who knows? But do they expire? You know, they nice. do expire. Huh. It's generally a couple years out, but they do, they do have expiration days. Yeah. Oh, interesting. I'll have to, yeah. Once I get my uh, stuff out of storage, I'll let you know. If they're I can just text you a picture oh, yeah. of the box that I am going to throw out when I go back upstairs. Mm. Yeah. Um, anyway, so my, my getting their flight story sort of sucked. So I check in the night before. I check in the day before and at my office. I know we're checking two bags. We're taking two bags as carry-ons because we weren't flying Southwest like we usually do. Pay for it. You know, go on my way. We are, of course, we left with enough time to get there an hour before, but then we realized we had no gas, so we had to stop for gas real quick. Um, Mm -hmm. And then Jay realizes, as we're at that Sheets that's, like, behind my house, that we, that he left his backpack. So Mm -hmm. we actually go to the court. We go to the court that's behind my house where the kids' friends live. And I, I crossed the little bridge. If you all done the tour at my house, there's that bridge there. I took the trail Very across nice the tour. bridge. Highly recommend. Five I stars. Sprint through the yard and like get my cardio in, get the backpack, break my keychain, blah 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 blah. Oh. Sprint all the way back and whatever. We get to the airport and it's just under an hour at that point. And we're like, all right, we're like hustle, 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 kids. We want to make sure. Uh, you know, because it's Saturday. We don't know. So uh, hustle, hustle, hustle. So we get in and I go, I was like, you guys go ahead. I'll do the thing where you like scan your credit card and like print out the boarding pass slip because I have a, uh, the slip for the luggage because I've yeah. already paid for it. So they go through security, which security took Alex's toothpaste. They confiscated toothpaste. And I was like, really? Toothpaste is a liquid? Like, who's blowing just, up and playing with toothpaste? Like, this is stupid. You just never know what they're going to take. You I never like sometimes know. Sometimes they just do it because they feel like I haven't, like, confiscated anything in a while. And, like, I got to hit my quota. I kind of feel the same way because you shouldn't toothpaste. It's so yeah. stupid. It's, it's basically a solid. I don't understand. I know. Uh, but anyway. So, anyway, it's it's not working. Like, it wants me – it's, like, prompting me to repay for my luggage. And I'm, like, this is bullshit. Now we're at the point where it's, like, 45 minutes before – or 50 minutes before. I get in line, and I wait in line for a little while um, because there's only, like, three people there. And I get up there, and – I'm explaining to the guy, hey, I show him the thing, the receipt on my phone. I was like, hey, I paid for this yesterday, but for some reason it's not printing. Can you just print this out for me, please? He looks confused and, you know, does whatever he does and he wants to see the thing on my phone again. And then he's like, "Um, actually, you didn't pay to check your bags. You paid for a priority boarding and now it's too late to check your bags because... it, it's too late to check your bags. He doesn't even give me a time, doesn't give me anything. He's just like, it's too late. And I was like, what do you mean it's too late to check my bags? He's like, oh, and he said the snottiest fucking thing to me, which kind of pissed me off. And I get it. He didn't need to be nice to me, but you're in customer service. And I know this sounds like so privileged and Karen-y and asshole to say, but he goes, yeah, checking your bag is $30. You didn't realize that you only paid $29 a suitcase? And I was like, oh, fuck no! That. Why would I what? know that? <laughs> Right. He literally he say said that anywhere. And he, also it's one dollar difference. Like, right? Oh. I thought that because remember also, back in the luggage. Right. Yeah, I remember back in the day when you'd have to pay to check your first bag. But anyway, you it used to be only um twenty five dollars to check a bag and then if you checked it same day it was thirty, right? It was used to be cheaper to check it the day before. Oh. So honestly when I paid the twenty nine per bag, I thought that I was like, Oh wow, they've gotten really stingy. You only save a dollar doing it ahead of time and I had that <laughs> thought. <laughs> I'm like, whatever. I saved two whole dollars today. That's like Ooh. half of a water bottle. So um yeah, so he's like, Yeah, you didn't realize that you were making that you did it wrong when you paid twenty nine instead of thirty and I was like, No, why would I do that? Why would I do 
that. So also, and if I noticed, why would I be talking to you? Right, why would I be right. showing you this to look like an what? idiot? Right. <laughs> so he was. I was like, so I don't know what the cutoff is. I call Jay immediately. And I'm like, they're telling me I can't go through. Because he, he wasn't even, like, presenting me options at this point. So as I'm on the phone, he starts talking. He's like, I can get you on standby for another flight. And you can just wait on standby with your luggage for the rest of the day. Or you can just leave your luggage here. And Jay hears him say that. And Jay's like, just leave the luggage there. And I was like, Jeremiah, Glatt filter. I just spent $200 <laughs> on brand new clothes at Old Navy because I haven't bought new clothes that actually fit me in three years. <laughs> Old, Navy, <laughs> Old Navy was selling shorts for $8. I bought five pairs. I haven't bought new non-Costco shorts in ages. Like, I think it's been, like, five years. So, of course, I bought, like, a whole bunch of pairs of new shorts, and I bought a new dress to wear, and blah, blah, blah. So, I was like, I just spent Which all this... Which is so cute, by the Thank way. Thank you so cute. much. I, I love that I know you got it Old Navy. Also, Old Navy, like, sidebar, whoever their designers right now. Yeah, they're killing Great it right guys. now. Great job. They're <laughs> killing it right now. So, And there was a couple things I bought, like, two of and I'm going to return the others like I bought these shoes that I, I thought I was going to wear and then I tried them on I was like oh these are so ugly no so I'm going to return those I had two of the dresses in different colors I'm going to return the other color anyway blah 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 but I was like I just spent all this money on clothes I'm not just leaving my suitcase here so I can go buy fucking clothes somewhere else no I was like so anyway then the guy is like excuse me ma'am I'm trying to help you here and I just looked at him and was like you're not trying to help me if you were trying to help me you would explain A what's going on and and B, you would have been like, uh, you're right at the cusp of the time. Because, again, I didn't even know what the time was. Like, yeah, I was like, uh, you would have, like, explained to me what else I can do. Like, you, tell, you telling me that I have to stay here when my family goes on vacation is not helping me. And at right. that point, Jay is like, he was like, make it work. So I was like, okay, let's make it work. But the guy was, I mean, I, I don't know if he had been there since, like, 3 in the morning. and was just done or just unhelpful or just didn't like me in general but like he never offered to like do anything other than be like sorry either you don't take your luggage or you get on a different flight and I was like but clearly like I thought I paid like I don't need priority boarding I have kids like I I don't need them on the plane longer than possible (laughs) us boarding at the end actually (laughs) works for us like this I so anyway he was he was of no help and um, you know, then I start crying because I'm no longer on the flight because I was like, well, I have to fly with the luggage and I don't know when I'm getting out there. Um, so I start crying. I cry through security. I show them, you know, uh, my ID. I shove it in my pocket and then um, go through. The kids are crying. Alex has tears streaming down his face because at that point I have to run to them because I have the tablets in my backpack and Jay can't travel with two of them without the iPads. So, like, I run through. Right. I yeah. Right. I run through. I go to them. You know, I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm not going to get this flight, but I'll see you guys in San Diego. I'm crying. Alex just has tears and I felt so bad. So they go on their way. And like I asked the person at the the women at the counter, I was like, "Hey, what would happen if I just put my boarding pass and tried to get through anyway?" Um, <laughs> and she was like, "Well, you're no longer ticketed." So I was like, "Oh, darn it, okay." But they did tell me that even if I didn't, so I somebody has to fly with the luggage. That's the rule. But if I didn't get on the standby flight, my luggage would still go on the standby flight, and that's yeah. the point where I called bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Time time out. Because that is not true. Because I have literally flown on a different flight than my (laughs) luggage. Cut to the time before the pandemic. Amanda and Daniel went on a little journey of the South because their flight got canceled. Yeah. But earlier that day, the person that was checking them in like 18 hours earlier to their flight because they were dumb and booked, booked a late day flight was like, you know what? We'll try and get you on this next flight. If you don't get on, at least your luggage will, your luggage is going to be on this flight and you can pick it up in New York. Yep. It will See, be held for you there. This guy just didn't want to be helpful. Like he just yeah. didn't care. So then I was like, oh, maybe it was overbooked and they like are trying to avoid compensating somebody on like standby or something. But Jay said that the person, the seat was never filled next to Zach, but it was filled after their layover. So somebody did get on mm-hmm. in my seat after. But like, 
that I mean when when he said that snotty comment to me about like you didn't realize that you only paid twenty nine dollars, I was like, why would I know that? Like, of course I didn't. So I don't usually fly your crappy airlines, sir. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, the ladies at the at the the uh, the counter after they left, they actually explained to me it used to be forty five minutes, but now it's forty three minutes and thirty seconds. So forty three and a half minutes. That you have to check the bag. Why? I don't know. That's because such an arbitrary number. That's what they told me. That's like what they that's... told me. They were like, it's 43 and a half minutes now. Because that's how long it it's takes for it to time get. for commercial breaks? Right, that exactly. So <laughs> yeah, they, they upgraded to um, Luggage uh, Plus and they, they cut out the commercial breaks. So now you yeah, know. that's <laughs> all. No, it's like, it was just so. So at least when she sat there and explained it to me. The guy at the counter didn't even tell me like that it was a time issue. He just was like, it's too late. Like there was nothing like any of that. And I checked. I called him at 41 minutes and they had been arguing. I had been in line for several minutes beforehand. And I had been arguing with the guy before I called Jay. So like I had to have gotten up there right at the cusp and you know like and there's no way that it could have been it couldn't have been like We'll send your luggage on the next flight if it doesn't, you know, like there's, there's just, he just, he wasn't very helpful. So anyway, as I, after I like cried my way around the airport for a while, um, <laughs> but there was this, also this very nice lady there that was like, it's all going to work out, sweetie. And I was like, I know, but I'm just upset right now. Um, I emailed American Airlines and you know what they did for me? They gave me 5,000 air miles as compensation. <laughs> and then oh, I cool. and then I found out later on at the hotel that night when I checked everything that he didn't charge me thirty dollars and thirty dollars for the two bags. He charged me thirty dollars and forty dollars because I was a single person flying with two bags. What? So that's wow. how that you, I think you have every right to go Karen on this and report this. <laughs> oh guy. yes. Oh like, yes. I, and I those miles that's how much that threshold. fucker didn't care. I think you are allowed to go yes. there. Also complain about those miles. Give, give Oh I am. I I, voucher. I I am. I like I, I you know, Mayor Pete taught me because he's been tweeting about <laughs> air mile compensation. That if they offer you mileage Say no, because the mileage is always a fraction of what the actual cost is, and always insist yeah. on a voucher for the money or your money yes. back. Yes. yes. Thank you, Mayor yes. Pete. Thank you, Mayor Secretary yes. Pete. So, <laughs> I was like, hey, Twitter has taught me something. <laughs> Fuck that mileage. Come on. Seriously, but I was just like, are you you're you're really just getting me five thousand miles? Like that won't even get me like to Virginia from here. <laughs> my house the, uh, airport parking lot. Right. So, anyway. Um, so then I I land on the story's not over, but I can tell it much quicker now. I land in uh, Dallas Fort Worth and I realized that I can't find my ID, which I thought I had put in my yoga pants. I was also like nervously pacing the airport to get some steps in and avoid drinking, like emotionally drinking, which I am very prone to do. And, you know, I was like, Colin, you can't get trashed before the first flight because you might be here for a very long time. So do something productive. Um, And I went to pee at least twice because I was there for like two and a half hours. Um, So I thought you know at that point I was like I thought maybe I had put it like stuck it in my bag um but like I tore my bag apart part while I was waiting to deplane and I couldn't find it in there so I was like all right well don't freak out you've you know got lots of pockets and book bags but I really thought I had put it in my pocket um so I after I got off the plane I had like a two-hour layover so I like found a spot took everything out still couldn't find it I was like damn it I think I lost my driver's license um uh, get to the hotel that night. So I got on the next flight, which was good. I was I was number three on the standby list, but I think I was the only name that call, that was called. And I think that sitting there crying for like a while <laughs> might have helped. It was, it was very embarrassing. I have I, I I knew it was embarrassing at the time, but I just had to succumb to the. <laughs> so um, I get to the hotel that night. I dump out my purse, dump out my backpack. 
I shake out notebook, the Crawdad Sings book. I had printed out geocache puzzles because I'm a loser. I, I shook out all the paperwork. Nothing, it wasn't in anything. Um, so I was like, well, damn it. It's probably in like some bathroom that fell out of my yoga pants in RDU or something. So anyway, I, I leave a message, a voicemail, because I know they're not going to get it till Monday um, at the RDU, like uh, Lost and Found. Um, Sunday morning, I repeat, before we went to the baseball game, I repeated it. I dumped everything out again, and I was changing purses to a smaller purse, because you can't, you know, I didn't want to go in the baseball game. I put in everything in a clutch, because, you know, it's a pain in the ass to go into a concert or a stadium or whatever with a big bag. Um, so, like, while I was doing that, I shook everything out, and it wasn't there. And then on Monday morning... I went to pick up my purse for us to go down to breakfast and sitting right on the top of it, right on the top of everything, not slid down, not in a pocket, but like right on the fucking top is my driver's license. And I was like, it's insane. I don't know. I freaked out. Like, uh, Zach was actually in the room with me at the time. And I was like, Zach. Zach, is this my driver's license? Oh my god! And he was like, "What?" I was like, "This, this is my driver's license." <laughs> but so that was Monday morning at like seven o'clock Pacific time, and the shitty thing is, we had made this whole plan. My mom had my extra key. She was gonna, she was gonna overnight it on Monday, guaranteed here by noon, because Jack and Cindy were gonna park their car at my house take that key, go into my dresser drawer where I have my passport and grab my passport so I could take that to fly back. So on oh. that Monday hey, it was morning, a that was a good plan. It was, it was a, a great, great plan. plan. It really on, was. Like, on you, that, at least you had like a backup plan that right. was like But on that Monday morning, workable. my parents spent $75 to overnight that key. I paid $15 for a replacement license to get mail to me here. <laughs> and then as soon as that was all done <laughs> you found it i found it <laughs> that's probably what it was it's like the universe was like yep. <laughs> i had to put something back out into the universe for the energy to return that stupid license to me <laughs> oh, yeah. absolutely <laughs> oh my god but yeah i i i could not believe it i was in shock i was so embarrassed because then i have to you know like i'm calling i'm so I had been on the phone with my mom. It must have been, it must have been after. the uh, FedEx opened at 9. So it must have been 9, 6. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It must have been sometime between 7.30 and 8 that I found it. Because I had been on the phone with my mom. And we were, like, FaceTiming her the view from the hotel. And, like, it was to the point where she was kind of pushing me off the phone, which never happens. Usually I'm. <laughs> and she's like, okay, well, I have to go. I have to go now. I have to go now. And then, you know, I call her back, like, five minutes later, and she's like, yes? <laughs> like, I just hung up with you. Why are you calling me back? So, anyway, I'm, like, freaking out. Um, so I had to tell her. I was like, I'm so sorry you spent all that money to do this. And then I have to, like, Jay's parents were offered an option for a different flight, and um, they opted to stay, so then I had to tell them, like, I'm so sorry, like, I found it. And just do, like, the whole tour of, like, oh, I'm an idiot, it's here. Even well, though... Why? Because you really searched for it. Like, it's just... I like did. I emptied that. Of the I, universe. Oh, my God. Like, I, I tore everything apart in the airport, but I literally put everything on the ground in the hotel once we yeah. got there twice. So, no idea. Uh, no idea. And then later that day... Um, so my oh so we went to the pool with the kids after breakfast and um my scrunchie broke my little hair tie and mm. I was like darn it I'll just get one somewhere and I we didn't have time to get one before we went to the baseball game and then um uh you know Jay's aunt had this great idea like just put your hair in a ponytail through like your baseball cap and I was like oh yeah good point uh, I'll just figure it out after. Then I go to pee in the middle of the eighth inning, and this hair tie, clean as can be, is literally on the floor of the stall right in front of me as I turn around to pee. And you know what? I picked it up. I was like, I don't know. There's not a five-second rule here, but mm-hmm. beggars nope. can't be choosers. Mm-hmm. Yep. So yep. a hair tie magically appeared in front of my face. <laughs> I was looking for Crazy. 
Anyway, that was uh, that was the most exciting thing that happened to me. Dead bats, lost driver's <laughs> license. Jay and I celebrated our 15th anniversary of our first date. And, yeah. uh, uh, oh, we did this. Uh, so Jay's Uncle Jerry, I guess he's our Uncle Jerry, put, has been wanting to put together for years. And he did it for his birthday. Um, an amazing race kind of thing. It was different stages and challenges, and everybody had to couple up. And Jay and I won the very first Unamazing Race. We kicked ass. Race. So it's, uh, it started with this, like, uh, it's called Mind the Gap, and it was, like, generational trivia. And That's we fun. didn't do super great at the trivia part. We finished in fourth, so we were like, oh, no, this might not be a very good sign. But then we kicked ass after the trivia. Like, we lapped everybody. We, um, <laughs> that one of the things, so, uh, w- one of the first things was a scavenger hunt in a grocery store that we'd never been to before, because it's a Cal- oh, Vons, God. it's a California grocery chain, I guess, and... What is it called? Vons, V-O-N-S, oh, okay. yeah. so yeah. we had to take pictures of things in different aisles, but it had to be in that order on the list, so you have to, like, run back and forth. That's really cool. We are this sprinting. So fun. It was so much fun. We're sprinting through the store. Jack and Cindy were like right, like neck and neck with us. Like anytime we got to something, they were there. Or if I saw them and I was like, Jay, Jay, Jay over here. So we're like shouting. I was like, Jay, aisle four now. And at one point we got like lost from each, separated from each other. And we had to take pictures of Oreos. And Jack found the Oreos first. So I was like, Jay was on one side. I was on the other side. And I was like, Jay, aisle five. Jay, Jay, Jay. And he like totally passed me. And his family, like I wish they got video of it. But I don't think they did. And Rob got a lot of video of things. They said it was so funny because he was calling for me and just missing me on one side. And I was on the other <laughs> side of the aisle calling for him. And I guess a stranger just said to him, hey, she's over there. Because <laughs> we were just <laughs> shouting each other's names frantically. <laughs> um, so, yeah, but, but we, the reason I think we won was in the grocery store. And that was the third challenge out of, I think there were seven, um, the Rolos. So you had to take the last thing was to take pictures of a bag of Rolos, and everyone else thought they'd be at the front checkout line, uh, and we happened to be in the aisle that was right by the candy aisle. So we just nice. went there and took the picture there. So we take our picture, we sprint out the store. Jack said that by the time they realized it wasn't there and got the picture, they walked out and they saw our car pulling away. Um, <laughs> And they were like, darn it. But then this, the after that, it, so we had seven or eight minutes for the next challenge. And it was bocce ball in the backyard, which was sloping. So, like, there was, and they had, like, artificial grass. So, like, there was a learner's curve with it because the grass made everything go, it was fake grass. So it made everything go fast. Yeah. So we had seven or eight minutes to practice on our own. And that made the whole difference. Like, one of the teams, oh. I think it was Jay's cousin, they had to take, like, a 10-minute time penalty because they just couldn't get it. Somebody else said that they were there for, like, 30 minutes. So they, after that, we had to run, and there was it was another... Uh, it wasn't a scavenger hunt, per se. It was a scavenger hunt, but you have to get the mortar. There was, like, a list of, like, 16 things, and you had to get eight of them. And then you got an extra a three-minute time bonus for everything you went over eight. So, okay. um, we did, you know... We did that eight, and then we did two bonus ones, and then came back, and we had to fill up. We had to choose between, like, an assortment of, like, ten spoons that he had found, like ice cream scoop or big spoon, middle, you know, just different spoons. And we had to walk, it was, like, 20 feet back and forth to fill up this cup with water till it overflowed. It was so oh, much fun. This is so clever. It was so yeah. clever. There were yeah. so many different stages and steps, and... Um, we had a huge, a hu- I think that we may have just filled ours up by the time the next group got back. And then the last thing we had to do was kind of like a play on Wordle. So you had to go into this bag of letters that was on outside across the yard, take a letter blindly, bring it back, run all the way back inside, put it on the table. And then your partner, so once it was on the table, your partner had to run out and grab it. And you had to get 11 letters at a time. To make a word that was seven, I think it was a seven letter word. And it had to okay. be a Scrabble word. Like he had the Scrabble um, app up to, you know, show if it was a Scrabble word mm-hmm. or not. And because we were first, 
all the vowels were at the bottom. So we went through like nine letters before we got a vowel and it was like a U. <laughs> like, like, oh, geez. <laughs> so we end up, we end up getting really lucky though. We spelled the word collard, like collard greens, C-O-L-L-A-R-D-S, oh. L-A-R-D. And we got it, but then we dumped everything back and all our vowels went on top. So everybody else solved the, that part a lot quicker because they had vo- uh, vowels quicker. Um, so Aunt Tammy, uh, her team almost caught up to us because they also did a bunch of bonuses, Mm. but thankfully we had also done bonuses that we ended up, if we hadn't done the bonuses and they had kept their bonuses, we would have only won by one minute, even though we finished, we finished about eight or nine minutes ahead of the next team, just like finish, finish. Um, Mm -hmm. yeah. Because we did the bonuses, we had a healthy lead. But yeah, oh my god, it was so much fun. I think we're going to do it again next year. We are the reigning champions, and we will remain the reigning champions for the next unforeseen number of years, because come (laughs) at us, we're going to keep winning. The end. (laughs) That's awesome. (laughs) so fun. I love that. Anyway, I'm sorry I talked way too long about (laughs) my San Diego stuff, but it was super fun, and Comic-Con was fun, too. It was great to see friends. Sounds super fun. Yeah. Yeah. You saw saw Kayla, right? Kayla was there. Jana, Nick, Cliff were in the hotel room, like, a couple doors down from us. We saw Jim. We saw Natasha um, was there with her family. Who else did we see? We, uh, you know, it's Comic-Con. You know, everybody does their thing, and then, oh, we saw Jim and Sarah. So, Yeah. It was super fun. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So it was really good. Their panel was really great. They had a lot of very chatty people in the audience, so they had a lot of good discussion because they have a microphone that you can come up and and ask questions and talk to. It was really fun. I, uh, I I didn't do that many panels, but we basically walked into everything that we wanted to do, which was awesome and unheard of for Comic Con. I walked right into the Lord of the Rings panel for Rings of Power. I don't know if it's going to be good, but I know it's going to be beautiful and it's going to win a lot of awards for how gorgeous <laughs> it's shot. Um, and then, oh, we did the Mythic Quest panel, which was super fun, too. I love Mythic Quest. It's on Apple TV+, Plus, and it's just super fun. I think I've talked about it before. It's a video game company. It's it's from the people that created Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Oh, yeah, I don't know. But it's it's very dorky, but it's a lot of fun, and it's it's kind of like The Office, but like for our generation, if that makes sense. Okay. Like for the tech generation, it's like the office, but that. Okay. Yeah, I super recommend it. Okay. Nice. I am done talking about all of myself. Sorry for all of it. No, it's just good. <laughs> yeah. Before we forget, next week we are going to be doing Where the Crawdad Sings. We're going to talk about the book and the movie. I believe Shandy has completed the assignment. I think Matt has completed the assignment. Uh, Amanda and I are... Not quite completed the assignment yet, but... Our neck and neck for last place. Yes. But you know what? I'm <laughs> Maggie, a winner. Maggie has completed the Maggie assignment. Maggie has completed the assignment. All she right, sent in some gosh, feedback already. Up. She did. She sent in feedback before I even went to San Diego. So, thebroadcasters3 at yeah. gmail.com, or leave us a voicemail with your feedback, 331-276-2373. We'd love to hear what everybody else thinks, especially about something that's such a, you know... Um, What's the right word? Not small, but um, not enclosed. Not small, but a uh, very uh, distinct topic. Narrow topic. Specific. 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 That's a great word. It Matt a- asks if we have gotten caught up on the controversies. I sure have gotten caught up for the most part. I skimmed a oh, lot. No. I'm aware that one exists. I didn't. <sighs> I didn't read too far into it. There. I yes. Don't want controversies. There is controversies. I have. I skimmed. I know I have to go back to it before we record, but I didn't want them to taint my experience too much, so. Why can't we have nice things? I don't know, Shandy. But we'll talk about it next Tuesday. Don't even worry about it. I mean, read about it if you want to, but. <laughs> That's true. Um, and it might, not, it might not taint your experience. Yeah, exactly. You know what the controversy is, though, if you didn't do it. Oh, no. Yes. As Matt says, sorry, Shandy involves mm. racism and murder. It sure does. It's actually it's actually kind of nuts. <laughs> I yeah, haven't oh read God. the whole thing, but... I read um, enough to be like, how is this real? Yeah, I read enough to be like, huh, white people really can get away with anything, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Just bananas. 
All right. Shandy, well, I can, I, I promise you, Shandy, whatever you're thinking, it is not that. Because <laughs> it is yeah, fucking random. It's, yeah. it's really weird. Yeah, it's really weird. Okay. <laughs> Oh no, she's gonna Google it. I can't wait. I I'm can't Google wait it now. for after our commercial break when you come back and you're like, huh, <laughs> that's a thing that may have happened, allegedly. Allegedly. No. Um, all right. Uh, do we want to take a quick break right now? I have an I am the asshole, which I think is gonna make you guys laugh. It's not sexual, actually, it's friggin' weird as well. Cool. So we can do that real quick, or we can take a break first and then do that. Since we don't have a ton of feedback. You guys tell me. Well, then let's take the break and okay. then do that. All right. We will be right back after these messages. <laughs> That's exactly right what I said. <laughs> All right. We are back, and we are going to start with this Am I the Asshole that made the rounds this week. I read it twice. I was so delighted by it. <laughs> um, I still truly haven't landed on who is the asshole in this situation, um, okay. because it's so weird. Okay, here we go. Am I the asshole for making our guests participate in our puppet-themed wedding? Yep. All right. My fiancé, 26 female and I, 27 male, met at college. We were in, oh, buckle in, guys, buckle in. This is, okay. it's two screen caps full, so... It's it's a story. It's a story, and it takes you on a journey, and it's going to end where you think you are, but it's still going to be entertaining. Here we are. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay. We were in our school's performing arts program and met in a puppetry class. In the class, we designed our own puppets. Mine was named Hat Boy, and my fiancé's named Daisy. Uh, they were originally used to talk to each other and flirt in class. We fell in love, and in a way, we've considered Hat Boy and Daisy in love as well. Hmm. Hmm. Years after graduating, we still use Hat Boy and Daisy both at home, weird, and at our local but fairly prominent theater, where we perform puppet shows with high-end Muppet-style puppets. Wow, fun! <laughs> Super, so cute. So cute. Uh, while planning our wedding, we realized we wanted Hat Boy and Daisy to be a part of the ceremony. They've been a part of us since the beginning, and it just felt right. We also invited our entire troop of puppeteers from the theater and uh, got the idea that we would have our wedding completely officiated by puppets and that our wedding parties would be made up of puppets and our closest puppeteer friends. Uh, we figured it would make for incredible pictures. You know, every, do it for the gram. Do yeah, it for the gram. do it for the gram. You do you. Um, it's 26 and 27. They're, they're like young millennials, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we're the old ones. It's like a 20-year difference. Okay, cool. Okay, they're still lost. That's I was like thinking... way too long. That's way too much span for one generation. But whatever, continue. That's 15. It's usually 15 It's years. usually 15 to so 20 years, yeah. 25, 25 26, like a we're, lot. Good. we're good. I feel like I don't have much in common with someone who is 15 years younger. But whatever. That's my that's my burden to bear. Continue. But these people are only ten years younger than us. Eleven. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. Okay. Cre- incredible pictures. Here's where we aren't sure if we're the assholes or not. We're insisting that all of our guests also participate and use puppets. In lieu of gifts, we've asked everyone to purpose high quality, but not nearly the quality of professional puppets. Puppets <laughs> to Sorry. use during our wedding. <laughs> We took the guesswork out of it and directed them to several vendors, some of who offer really cool options. Everyone could realistically expect to spend 150 to 500 depending on what sort of details and whatnot they wanted. Now, this is okay. in lieu of a wedding mm-hmm. gift, but also, mm-hmm. yes, that's a lot of money. Yeah, no, but that's an expensive mm-hmm. wedding. But, like, also people enjoy At 26. buying... But people enjoy buying gifts for someone they love who's getting married like you know it's yes. fun to like go through the registry it's like oh am i gonna get them the wine glasses or the soap dish or the trash but can also, <laughs> yeah i i uh this? i always give money because basically everyone um, wants money so yeah that, so that they can you know use it for your honeymoon use it for whatever wine glasses were not purchased um but i would say when i was these puppeteers age i think i think my wedding budget was about 50 bucks for a wedding gift maybe that makes me cheap but i was 20. no 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 when i was about that age yeah, like, yeah. 150 to 500 dollars is too much to ask for like a puppet you're gonna use once 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, no. I don't know. This you is, might this meet the wasteful. love. This is wasteful. You could meet the puppet love of your life just like they did at the wedding. <laughs> if you, if that's what you're gaming for. Let me finish. Let me finish. Okay. <laughs> yes, we finished the first screen cap slide. So on to page two. Okay. Uh, we also want everyone to wear their puppets during the entire wedding and reception. All puppets we're suggesting can be mounted on and controlled with one hand. That's what she said. Um, the, puppets, <laughs> <laughs> the puppets are meant to be guests at the wedding in the same way that all of our human guests are as well. <laughs> it does get weird. Um, let's just say... <laughs> let's just say... I don't care if this is made up. I love it so much. Here we go. <laughs> Let's just say there are a lot of people not happy, both of our parents, <laughs> my wife's sister, and family members on both life. sides have complained that this is completely unreasonable. They're concerned about how are they going <laughs> to... <laughs> They're concerned about things like, are they going to eat and drink? How are they going to dance? You don't need hands to dance, so I don't know where that complaint is. From. How are they gonna shit? <laughs> also, how do you dance at a wedding that you don't need a hand? <laughs> you just throw your puppet in the air like you don't care. <laughs> we, of course, don't expect people to have their puppets on their hand while in the bathroom, but everywhere else we'd really like to insist on it. We also made sure that our hors d'oeuvres are all finger foods. <laughs> You want me to play? For the one hand you have free. Have free. Are you also supposed to feed offer the puppet food first? Make sure the puppet is not hungry. <laughs> yes. Hey little puppet, please, here's a mozzarella please. stick. Yum 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 yum. <laughs> please feed your puppet first. <laughs> um uh, there'll be plenty of cocktail tables so people can put their drinks down. We even made sure that all the food <laughs> for the <laughs> dinner itself is portioned so it can be eaten in bite, bite sizes with just a fork without having to use a knife. That is how committed they are to the fucking puppets, guys. So they literally are cutting everyone's food like they're children. Yes. <laughs> See, spend spend less on puppets, more on your food. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, people are just really happy with an open bar. It, it, it yeah. Really, like, even the food could be like, meh. But if you have an open bar, they're going to eat the food. Yep. Um, we really we really think this would make for a special day. Uh, we only get to do it once and think that it will be an event that all of our guests will remember for a lifetime. Well, they're sure remembering the planning to the wedding yeah. of, of, for a lifetime. Not for the way perhaps you were hoping. <laughs> We have a hard time believing that once there, they wouldn't have a blast. So, Reddit, are we the assholes for making what we think is a silly but harmless and reasonable request for our special day? Thanks for reading. Yes, you are the asshole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, at the beginning when they were saying that they wanted to, like, have their puppets in the ceremony, I was like, that's, that's wacky, but cute it fits them don't ask your guests to buy five hundred dollar puppets if they want to provide puppets for people to like use as they see fit i guess like a photo booth maybe yeah it's like maybe i feel like yeah there's a way to incorporate the puppetry without going full insane yeah Uh, so uh, somebody somebody had said earlier in the comments on Twitter, and I read this like a week ago, so I'm paraphrasing, but they were like, wouldn't it be great if they had told it, they had given out, here's some suggested links, but please feel free to create your own puppet, be as creative as you can with it. Because then somebody could actually find a way to economically make a puppet, right? Like, you can just buy a... Get a sock. Right, or buy like a bare bones puppet and then like decorate it as you want with your own stuff. You know, and if somebody really yeah, does want to, yeah, if somebody wants to go all in and buy a $500 puppet, you're not requiring it, but you're giving them links like here's places you can purchase a puppet. And I thought that like it being a, we really hope that you'll do this because we think it's going to be really fun. Here's some links, but feel free to make your own at your own budget. I felt like that they wouldn't be the assholes then, but like. 
I feel like the more constraints you put on something, the less fun it becomes for yes. people. Yes. So like the more you insist upon something and you regulate it, the less the less fun, the less freedom you're giving your guests to have fun. Right? Because that is fucking weird. Yeah. You can't control the fun. <laughs> Just because you no. think it's great. Right. Yeah. Um, Greg says, I thought these people were unhinged when they said the bridal party would be doing it. Then they added all the guests and I knew they were insane. (laughs) Yeah, pretty much. Like if they want to pay for the bridal party to have puppets and that's their like bridal gift, like bridal party gift, like (laughs) sure, that's a shitty gift, but like that's your thing. Like whatever, that's your prerogative. Like do it off. That is amazing pictures. But it is kind of weird to have people being like, you know, getting jiggy with it with their like, you know, Muppet on their hand. Right. (laughs) Yes. And you should not assume that people are necessarily all going to spend $150 to $500 on your wedding gift. But you should assume. That's presumptuous. Right. Mm -hmm. And you should assume that they're probably going to, they are going to be talking about you for the rest of their lives. (laughs) (laughs) They might not go to your wedding. You're hoping it will be. Yeah. <laughs> you said your entire family is upset about it? Right. They're so, like, read the room. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, if one of my kids grew up and was like, Mom, you have to do my first dance with me, our, our wedding dance, whatever, mother son dance, and we're going to be doing puppets, you know, I would get the glitteriest fucking puppet I could find. <laughs> I'm talking like Ariel's dress at the end of Little Mermaid on my puppet, and (laughs) it would be obscene. That said, I'm just preparing myself 25, (sighs) 30 years out. (laughs) Oh my gosh. All right. So, yeah, I guess where I landed is the constraints are make you the asshole. The simple request for a puppet. Just a request doesn't make you the asshole, but like mandating it makes you the asshole. You know, yeah. my puppet, my choice, my freedom. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's gonna be an episode. If I title. choose not to have, yeah. if I, if I my choose freedom not to, to puppet it, no, yeah, to the puppet. Yeah, I think I'm calling this show my puppet, my choice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. Okay. Any last things on this? I'm trying to see if there were any comments. Unfortunately, all the good ones have been kind of covered up by newer ones. Um, Okay, this one person that I was absolutely on board with the puppet wedding party, but a puppet reception is a bit much. Yes, a puppet reception is a bit much. (laughs) Either provide the puppets or, yeah, let people make their own. Like, if you want to do a $10 puppet, have them make their own $10 puppet. The end. Have Agreed. a crafts table at the wedding. <gasps> oh my like god! That could be, that could be fun. That I've would never be... been to a wedding that has a crafts table. I I think I would actually. Be into that. <laughs> that would be so much fun. Oh my god! There I go. love this idea. Yeah. And they should all just do and round you, you paper bag puppets. With your open bar, mm-hmm. and people will get creative. Oh, I agree. I, yeah. I think you. I think you have solved this for them. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. I love this so much. A craft table at a wedding, but uh, socks, brown paper bags, anything they want, like yeah. full on. Yeah. Like just give them the options. I feel like yeah. I need to get married Blue. just to have a craft table. Oh my I god, like this I, needs to be realized somehow. If you don't have a craft table, <laughs> I'm gonna be. I mean, I'll be fine with it, but I'm also going to be slightly disappointed. <laughs> disappointed. <Yeah. laughs> the craft table that could have been. <laughs> the craft table that could have been. No hot glue gun, though. With the open bar, no. that might get not great. <laughs> too dangerous. Too dangerous. Glue sticks. Glue sticks for all. Glue sticks yeah. for all. It makes everything so much more. Or fun. Elmer's, like old school. Maybe, maybe some paste. You know, again, open bar. You know, maybe people want to relive their childhood. Yes. A paste. Uh, you know how some people like, you know how like uh, some people bring like hot sauce in their like purse to put on things. I would yeah. bring gorilla glue in my purse just to sneak a little gorilla glue in. <laughs> That's fair, you know, and that would be your prerogative. And you'd be taking pictures, so you'd never know. And I'd have the best puppet around. <laughs> And everyone else is dancing wildly. And Everybody's the dancing wildly. Oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> and not mine. My googly eyes are there to stay, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I have the best pipe cleaner mustache in the whole building. <laughs>
feedback. We have a little bit of face feedback. The first thing's from Fallon, and she says, Molly Ringworld. Blah, 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 blah. Molly Ringworld. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I hate that name. It's a hard one. Yeah, like yesterday. Yesterday is a hard word for me, too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Molly Ringworld's girl in the, uh, is in Netflix's. And Anne with an E and plays Anne Shirley, and I absolutely love that show. So this is about Stranger Things. We talked about how uh, Maya Hawke's character, um, mm, I, yeah. yeah, Molly Ringworld girl. So she is with in Anne with a Anne with an E, um, and she plays I didn't realize that character. That. I didn't either. Oh. Uh, highly yeah. recommend. I watched like the one series. or two episodes. I have to go back to it. I haven't seen any of it. I haven't either, but I do remember it being on. So. Um, Maybe I'll go back because I do love the the Anne with Anna Green Gables books. I've read them all. Um, in the original PBS uh, miniseries yes. back in the day. Yes, and I still sometimes say I'm in the depths of despair because Anne Shirley said it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so Fallon points out that Barb dies in season one of Stranger Things, which Aaron also pointed out. Uh, it was pointed out yes. to us and, by mm-hmm. several people, Tasia, several Tasia times. Tasia also texted us. <laughs> yes, Tasia texted us. Like it was, it was pointed out several times. Okay, fine. Barb dies, but Barb wasn't like the driving heart character that I will make. I will make this argument, but I will give you all Barb. I'm just gonna well actually you that <laughs> Bob made it to the end and then like sacrificed himself. Eddie did the same. Yeah. Yeah. Barb sort of was a bit of a story plot. You're right. But she was still Barb, so I'll give it to you. She was still cool. We just, you know. She was the first of her kind. Exactly. We hardly knew her. Barb, we We hardly knew you. (laughs) Hardly knew her. Hardly remember her. Poor Barb. (laughs) But was awesome. Barb. Um, Aaron Aaron says, not sure if anyone has mentioned it, but at the end, you talked about only a month passing for season five. But the Duffer brothers have confirmed that there will be a time jump. I haven't seen how big of one, but they recognize the kids have grown too much. Uh, I don't think I'd seen that. So thank you, Aaron. As far as Matt explaining, uh, RRR. Matt, what's RRR? The movie I mentioned my Stranger Things feedback. I'm so bad with recall after being on vacation for a week. Quick, put it in the chat. Rawr. <laughs> um, RRR, the, mention, the movie I mentioned in my Stranger Things 4 feedback, is an Indian film about a fictional friendship between two real-life revolutionaries in British Raj-era India who, end, who team up to fight English colonialists. It's on Netflix and is pure entertainment. It may be the most fun I've had watching a movie this year. Well, that's huh. awesome. Nice. Oh, and then uh, Matt says, uh, I referenced it when I was talking about how cool the moment with Eddie uh, and the guitar was in relation to this movie. It's a three-hour Indian film. Ah. Uh, it's uh, like Rise Resist Something, says, uh, says Greg. Okay. Sorry, also three-hour Indian film was also from Greg. You guys can also read right. this, so I don't know why I needed to clarify. No, I was looking at the other track, <laughs> so that actually does help me. For the listeners. For the listeners. Um, yeah, that's cool. Uh, so we have a mass what she says and then we have two emails and then we can wrap it up all right i totally recommend taking your time we went back at it we would do it in three weeks it makes not getting the other ones worth it because i like it more Mm. we're going full body full body (laughs) let's just get into it i am pumped It was getting late and I was getting so worked up that I was like, oh my God, we have to stop now. Mm. (laughs) Why are these so long? They give it that one last pump. (laughs) Pump is such a funny word. Pump Pump is a funny word. word. Like pump is like moist, which did you see that it was, oh, Elena and Roe had birthdays over the last week. Happy birthday, Elena and Roe. Happy, happy. Happy birthday. Um, but JP found a birthday card that said moist on it and sent that to Elena. <laughs> Amaze. Amazing. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> Amaze moist. <laughs> All right. Everyone hyped it up for me. So when I got that, I was like, this was cool. <laughs> he nails them every time. Every time. <laughs> um, right. Thank you, Matt. <laughs> that was a good crop. 
That was pretty fun. That was a good one. Why are these so long? Um, we have a <laughs> first email is from Greg. All right. Greg, uh, first date advice. Hey, Broads. Things have been going well lately, and I decided to re-enter the online dating thing. I matched with someone on Bumble, and we are now texting throughout the day. She is going on a work trip for the next week, but when she gets back, we are going to meet up. Please send this is gay. Uh, please send good vibes my way. As well, what advice do you have for a first date? It's been a while for me, and I want to be on my A game. Thanks. Well, this is very exciting. Yay! Yeah. Oh, you're a pretty cool dude. Just be yourself. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. like I know that's, that's so stereotypical. Like, yeah. But like, you're fun to be around. Yeah. Just be yourself. Arrive on time. Yeah. Arrive yeah. on time. Yeah. yeah don't yeah. make her wait. Don't yeah. make her wait. Um, Ask pay- her questions about herself. Yes. And Offer listen to, to the answers. Listen to the answer. Yes. Listen to the answers. <laughs> uh, I have found. I have found in my grown-up friendship making that people like to hear about them, like to talk about themselves the older we get. <laughs> yes. yes. Seriously. I'm trying to think. I always think it's nice to offer to pay. I don't think that's, like, sexist or anything. It's just kind if you're, you know, in general. She can say no. Matt says, wear your best MAGA hat. <laughs> mm-hmm. I. Well, you're in Florida, so maybe keep your best MAGA hat in the car. See how it goes. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> some kicks. Maybe say gay a couple times just to see how she... No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> see where she lands. No, don't. Send don't, don't. up the balloon. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's so exciting, though. Yes, um, please write back with an update. Yes. yes. And don't be nervous. Yeah. Nervous energy yeah. always shows. So... Oh, he says, Greg says I, he left his uh, MAGA hat in the hotel room in Raleigh. <laughs> That's a good place for it. I hope they threw it out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Put it on fire. No, yeah, be yourself. Don't be nervous. I know it's hard to not be nervous, but, you know, nervous energy sometimes translates through, which I guess now is just key to just make you nervous. So sorry about that. Um, <laughs> or just admit that you're nervous. I find that endearing because uh, chances are totally. she's probably going to be nervous. That's a too. great point. So, yeah. You know, Listen it's a nice Amanda. equalizer if you just like walk in like full cards on the table. Yeah. yeah but, you know, be yourself. You're super fun. Yeah. 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 And definitely. Yeah. I-, I echo Amanda right in and let us know how it went. Yes. Let us know. Um, yeah, good luck! Yay! So exciting. To be continued next week. All right, the, we'll finish up with an Andy update, which isn't quite an update this week. Hmm. All right. Uh, I have um, an email here that says, This something or other in Andy's virginity. Andy writes in, Hey, Rods. Well, I wish there was some juicy update for you, especially since it's been a few weeks and things have been quiet as far as my quest is concerned. I don't even have something stupid Ben Shapiro's done that we can all laugh at. Hey, let's let's all be, you know, thankful for that. Oh, he's mm-hmm. done some stupid shit this week. Um, <laughs> he was a, he had his, his his metaphorical panties all uh, hot and bothered. Apparently, uh, we don't have a constitutional right to same sex marriage. Um, but I also believe that we don't have a constitutional right to opposite sex marriage, so he's just a fucking moron. But anyway, continue. Yeah. Fuck you, Ben Shapiro. <laughs> Fuck you, Ben Shapiro. Mm-hmm. Uh, Andy continues. Uh, so this is just a quick check in to say hey. Hey. And I'll try to find something hey. worth writing about next time. Hashtag on with hers, Andy. Hey, Aww. girl. Good hey. to hear from you, Andy. Good to hear from you, too. Uh, yeah, if 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 you uh, you know, Ben Shapiro might be getting uh, going to a puppet wedding. That feels like something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> he seems like the kind of dumbass that would make people drop five hundred bucks on a puppet because you know puppets can't get wet. So. <laughs> <laughs> I was at my my little brain was churning like how do we fit that in? We... <laughs> always, always, yeah. always, always, always gonna make fun of Ben Shapiro. Hashtag never forget. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Dude. goodness! 
Oh, uh, well, thank you for the update, uh, Greg. Good luck, and yeah, I'm excited to talk about this crawdads thing next week. It's kind of weird that we decided this like three months ago, and now it's here. Woo! I know it sort of yeah. snuck up on me. It's like it was like August seems so far away until you all alerted me to the fact that August is literally next week. <laughs> it is so yeah. next week. I- Oops. Yeah, I was living on the other side of the country when we decided this. Yes. Oh my, God. Oh my you gosh. Were. You so were. that's weird. I didn't. I didn't even realize that this story took place in the state where I was moving. I didn't know that either until I started down. reading it. I um, not to live in their part, but the North Carolina part. Yeah. 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 Um, and the 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 song for the soundtrack, Taylor Swift sings it about. Yes. Uh, yes. Oh, I didn't even know yeah. that they had released the soundtrack. I just know that Taylor I saw Swift it when I saw the movie. Song. <laughs> oh, right. I saw the movie. Because that one's just an overachiever with their homework. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of Ben Shapiro, Matt says uh, it's ironic. What is ironic is, because, is that he always sounds like he has a hand shoved inside him. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Never not funny to make fun of that piece of shit. Um, anyway, <laughs> next week. On that note. On that note. <laughs> on that note. <laughs> raise a hand of Ben's ass. Um, no. <laughs> no, ew, 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 ew. Mm. So many asses I'd raise a hand up first. Um, mm. All right. Next Tuesday, we are recording Where the Crawdad Sings. I will have a third grader by next Tuesday because Zachary's first day of school is Friday. Also Friday. So many things on Friday. Amazing. Wow. I know. That's also so early to be going back to school. Well, year-round uh, tracks one, two, and three already started. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's true. I, yeah. I think uh, I think California is like already started or starting next week, and that's not even year round. That's just weird. That's just what they do. Yeah. Good times. Yeah. Anyway, on that note, everyone, thanks for listening. Email us, email us your feedback about where the crawdad sings. I am really, as we talked about, there are obviously we know there we we have recognized that there are some controversies <sighs> that we did not know prior. Please, any feedback you have, good, bad, neutral, like, let us know. We really do want to hear what people have to say about it. The broadcasters here at Jim on the Common give us a call, 331-276-2373. Thank you to the patrons, especially the ones that contribute to a certain level, and that would be Eckhart Rigner, Tack from Tokyo slash France. Um, (laughs) uh, Maggie the Magnificent, Joanne with a Plan, Ed the Creepy Poopy Head Mailman. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate it. Um, it was so nice to see some people at Comic-Con, and um, I think I was talking to Natasha and Jim and Jana. I guess I was talking to everybody. Um, <laughs> we do need to pick a date for the Raleigh meetup next year because I recognize yes, it's getting yes. close to that time. So uh, I guess when I'm editing, this is my reminder to make a post and, and lock that date down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I know. Dude, one of my friends got engaged, and I'm like very excited for her. But I heard through the grapevine that she's considering late April, early May. For her. Oh, jeez! Like, well, this cannot, this cannot oh, conflict. We're, <laughs> we're not going to do late April because of Big Sur, and I know I believe that Mike and Aaron are planning on doing Big Sur. Oh next yeah, year. they are planning on it. Yeah, and I believe Mother's Day is late this year. It's like the 14th because uh, the first is a Sunday, so everything is kind of, like, weird. So it's, I, I think the leading uh, leading week was that third week of May, like the week of, like, the 20th, 21st. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully within the next uh, few weeks we can have that locked down, too, so everyone can, uh, you know, wow. put their flight notification, uh, flight prices notifications yeah. on. And, uh, yay! Looking forward to it. I've got, you know, I'm always so excited when I see friends through the podcast stuff, and then I'm, like, super motivated to see more friends. Um, anyway, on that note, uh, thank you, though. Uh, email feedback, blah, 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 blah. Shandy has to go to sleep. I have to go take a gummy so I can fall asleep because my body still thinks it's 7.30. Woo! I'm going to go do some reading. <laughs> and Shandy's, uh, Amanda's going to read. I'm going to read, too, I think. Or watch Only Murders in the Building. It's a toss-up. We'll see. Wow, oh, it's, it's really good. It's so good! 
I need to start it. I need to start it. Oh, you, it's a really fun show. It's I actually totally did start fun. it. I watched the first couple of episodes. I really liked it. And then, you know, life. Yeah. I would like to get. Yeah, like it's no early, like it's it's you know it's 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 no like masterpiece theater, but like it's it's really fun. So it's really fun. I think it's one of the most fun shows that I have been watching lately. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Nice. On that note, everyone, thanks for playing. We'll see you next week. My name is Colleen. My name is Amanda. And I'm Shandy. Peace out, everyone. Thank you, patrons, for joining us. We'll see you next Thank month. You, patrons. Bye. Bye. Bye.